Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Card. I hope you can hear me. I think, I don't know if my camera it looks like it is there, so that looks all right. Um, you all hear me? I had a few issues this week, so I'm hoping that I don't have any this week. Um, let me see who's on. Wendy was early. Yes, it is a lovely day here in Yorkshire. I've had my washing out by eight o'clock this morning. Yeah. don't know what's happened there. I've disappeared off the screen. Oh, I disappeared then. Um, I've got a feeling I'm going to have a problem this morning. It looks like the gremlins are in and it's a bit blurry. I don't know if it's my Wi-Fi. I'm on full Wi-Fi. Um, a bit fuzzy and sound delays. That's weird. I've got full, full Wi-Fi. Oh, well. Um, Sounds distorted. That's strange. Well, I'll plow on and see what happens. Um, I'm a bit concerned because usually I can see my desk view. Um, and when I add it, it wasn't there. So, oh, it's better now. Okay. Then maybe it's just decided to warm up. So, um, coffee and card round 30 doesn't start till next week. So um, this week I'm just going to do an extra little card and um, I was going to use the Zoo Crew Suite, which is on page 46 and 47 of the new catalogue. And I love it. It's quirky, um, just like me. So let's turn the camera around and fingers crossed that it's going to work. There we go. Hopefully that should be all right. Yes, I had a few technical, I don't know why. Anyway, I just um, pressed it a couple of times and it worked. So hopefully that's fine now. Yeah, I love it too, Diane. I really, really love it. And for those of you who know me, who um, know that I'm a fan of the theatre, I am particularly loving that you get these dies that are like a stage and a little pelmet here and you can create like a little stage that that's like yeah I'm loving that um so it's really quirky lovely colors and I'm going to go through the papers I am going to do a class with this not a coffee and card I'm going to do the monkeys next which is advertised um starts in june but i'm going to do an online class and an in-person class with this um for people so yep i have 10 people watching now so this is available now you can get the stamps the papers the dies you can just get the papers if you like um the stamps obviously are you can color those in and do what you want with them but i'm going to go through the products with you so I've just got six pieces of paper out. Let me just straighten up that. I hate it when it's monkey. I've just got six pieces of paper out. Um, you do get 12 and you've got these, the lovely creatures on one side and then you've got a black and white design on the other as a contrast. So we've got these sort of birthday ones. Then a lot of them are like hobby ones. So here you've got a knitting llama, you know, um you've got a sloth doing um yoga a hedgehog's painting i think it's quite cute and then i love that side and then this is like um creatures on scooters and roller boots and bikes and things and then you have zigzags on the other then we have musical animals which is fun and spots on that side then we have what i'd call 
adventuring animals, um, outdoorsy. And some flowers. And then you've got the theatrical ones. Um, well, I'm saying theatrical. They're all doing ballet. Um, really. So, yeah. So, and then on the other side, it's got like that little pattern. Okay, dog. So that's the papers. And this is the stamp set. It's a set of 11 stamps. And um, they are the cling stamps. And then we have the dies. So you've got a lot of dies that cut out the um, images. And then you have extras. So there's lots of extras and there's lots of dies in here. It's a set of 20 dies. So you've got the curtain that I mentioned and the pelmet um, to create like your proscenium arch for your theatre. Then you've got a little Christmas tree. Um, you've got a banner, which is useful. You've got flowers, balloons, um, a little cloud, more flowers, trees, little, tiny flowers, and other bits and bobs, which are really, really useful. Um, I don't know what the heck I'm going to make. Um, so I'll bring the papers back in. <laughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And I'm going to actually have a look. What I do is, if I'm stuck for inspiration, I turn to the... Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. There are gorgeous ribbons in this suite as well. So we have a set of ribbons. There we go. Hi, Melly. Hi, Anne. Yeah, I love it as well. Um, so, I thought I'd make a little card. And what I think I'll do is I'll sort of half use the catalogue as inspiration. Let's see how we go. I'm not um I'm not feeling massively creative today, but I'm just gonna grab some card. And I'm gonna grab some lemon lime twist. Now this is like um a lot of people were really really happy that this came back. It was a really um popular in colour and a lot of people wanted this to come back um, so I thought oh we'll use this and also it's the same colour as the ribbon in the set um, so we'll make a little lemon lime twist card well I've got two there okie doke and what I'm going to do, I'm rather fond of, of the crocodile on the bike, actually. It always does seem a shame to cut into these papers. There we go. Now, let me check. This is one of the images that the dies do cut out I mean you can you can cut it yourself but the dies do cut that one out um, obviously it's not the um, not the, that it's not that for all images but this one is one of those so I'm going to just detach it from the paper there we go I'm just reading your comments. Hi, Caroline. Right. The 
great thing about these dies is I think they fit in the mini machine. Let me just check that. I might be wrong. Yes, they do. So how you know that is there's a little symbol. If you look for the bundle at the back and it tells you, you know, there's there's more than you think that fit in the mini. All those four do on there. Um, all those on that page four, all those on this page do. Three out of four on that page, two out of four on this page, and then two out of four. So there's a lot that fit in the mini machine. So I'm going to pop this on here. Now, often I like to put a little washi tape down just to hold it in place. Fresh fig, yeah, I remember that. I wasn't massively fan. Was Berry Burst was from that bunch as well, wasn't it? I think. And that's come back. I actually loved Seaside Spray. That was one of my faves. I've done quite a good job there. I always am a bit wary that I've always cut them out a little bit wonky. But look, that's done a really good job. I mean, we'd have had to cut down his spine and it would have been a little bit tricky in and out, in and out. So I'm very pleased with that. Okay, so I'm going to choose some paper. Um, that's going to go on here, but it's I'm going to have a little white piece. It does seem a shame to cut into these. some scrap bits anywhere it would help if I had all right I've got this but I don't know if that's too small mm, no let's get a new piece I'm not used to this. I've normally got everything in that packet that I need <laughs> for coffee and card. <laughs> right. And I think I'll have a little bit of petal pink. That's the colour of the other ribbon. Yeah, I loved Seaside Spray. Right, Caroline's asked a question, which I'm going to answer now. So, Caroline, if you look at the, um, the dies on the page, they actually cut these stamps out okay they match the stamps but they should also match these pictures on the papers so you've got the crocodile um you've got the raccoon with the balloons 
you've got the dancing um it's not a tiger is it a leopard anyway um you've got the knitting llama the maraca shaking turtle gosh i'm all my animals are getting tested here and is that um a skunk or a raccoon with some binoculars so it's coloured in in like a peachy colour to show that they ma they cut out the dyes and it, it says coordinates with Zany Zoo dyes but it should also match those papers too, um, those pictures on the papers as well. So that's a bit of a, a bonus. Now, obviously, to, to do dyes to match um, all the pictures on the papers, it would have cost a fortune. So what you can do is, <clears throat> what they've done here is they've sort of punched them out with a circle or with, or cut them out with a die. And I think that's that's really cute way of, of doing that. I really like that card. In fact, I love this page. I think it's very, very, very inspirational. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little bit of this paper. Um... But I think I'm going to cheat it because I don't want to use too much. Does that? Um, and maybe I might just use half and then do. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't like having to design. When I do my coffee and card, it's like all done for me. Oh, yeah. Should we do that? Should we just have like half or just over half? So I hope that's answered your question, Caroline. I do feel like that's a little bit... I do talk to myself when that's a bit too big now. I'm going to cut that down a bit. Okay. Right, I'm getting there now. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. So that's going to go on there. That's going to go on there, like that. And then what I think I might do is... Ooh. I might do a little... Um... Mm. I don't know if I want to start shading with the blending brushes. Oh, that's good. You need playtime, Wendy. I'm just reading your... ...comments. I think I've caught up with them now. Okay, so I am actually sort of copying an image from the... Um, from the catalogue but what I'm going to do now I think is I'm going to cut some balloons out in fact I don't need all that card let's cut some balloons out with the dies. There are two balloons which is oh, they're stuck on. Well it's handy. 
So we'll have two pool party just to bring another bit of colour in. That's cute. Look, it does the little line on them, you know, like the little... Highlight, and then we'll do two. I don't know if it's right having four balloons. I think you need five. I don't think I'm comfortable with an odd number. So I think I'll have another pool party balloon. Okay, now I'm going to pop those back on the sheet so I'm not losing those because they're not the smallest. Right, do I need a dice for anything else? What I might do, actually, is I might cut that out just to see as an extra, that banner. What's my favourite stamping up colour? Probably, probably... Mm. Probably pool party, I would say. I do like Coastal Cabana as well. Um, right, I'm just, I'm just assessing. I might, you see, pop that there, but it might be too much. So what I was going to do, is, right, let's, let's get the crocodile on. So what I'm trying to do is make a card similar to this one. Similar to that one. That was my inspiration. So I was going to have the crocodile with his balloons like that. Ah, what you can do, you see, you can have one going off. I've only used four in the catalogue. I don't know if five's too much. Anyway, let's stick that down. Let's stick the crock down. Yes, you see, Soft Suede was probably the one that I got most upset about leaving. But Pink and Pie is nice. And I do, I do, do love crumb cake. Now I'm going to use something now. Actually, let's grab some tiny foam pads. And let's pop these balloons on. can overlap them because that's what happens when the sort of blowing in the wind
There we go. All right. So. This is one of my top purchases in the new catalogue. And I will find it for you if I can. It's um, the marker in basic black. And you can buy it on its own. Um, and it's three pounds fifty. One six two four eight one. And it's got a um, thin end for writing and a brush end. Okay. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to use the thin end. This is a bit tricky. I need to go back to my catalogue to see how they've done. All right, okay, so that's fine. <laughs> Maybe not the best lines. <laughs> oh, well. This is why I stamp. I'm not a drawer. <laughs> it's that one <laughs> that makes me laugh. Okay, so I don't think that on there. Oh, it's going to be right, but we'll see. We'll glue this to. Oh, I've had another idea now. I've got a lemon lime twist um, pen and what I'm going to do is actually cycling on the grass. Naughty, naughty croc cycling over the grass. go so that just adds a little bit of color doesn't it i think i've done better up with my grass than i have with the um i'm just reading your comments so that's going to go on there now If you can hear anything, we're actually having the um, painting snags done today. So I've got a lovely young man here who's um, doing some painting touch-ups. So that's going to go on there. I'm not sure if that's too... Oh, actually... I like it. I quite like that. It would have been better if my balloons were the other way around, but I quite like that. Let's look at the greetings. Let's use happy birthday to you. And I just love that. It just says what it wants you to say. Exactly what we want to say. We just want to say happy birthday to you. Let's use a huge block for it. And that's going to stamp. Okay, so. I'm going to use mm, basic grey. Always have a practice. Oh, oh. 
pleased with that. Very handy die, Wendy. Very handy. Okay, so I'm going to glue this on. Yes, Caroline, sometimes the simple cards are what we need. Especially when you're thinking on think, thinking on your feet. Might, yeah, I think I might come in and, and so you can still see the peach, the petal pink like that, and just glue that there like that. Have I lasted half an hour? I have. There we go. There is the finished card. Da, da, da. This is another little simple card that I did on my um, catalogue launch. Just a really simple card. Um, There we go. So that's today's make using the Zoo Crew. Next week um, it will be Coffee and Card Round 30, uh, week one. That is my job today and tomorrow to get those kits done and out. Um, what else do I need to tell you about? So that's obviously closed for booking. Um, the next one, round 31, will feature the monkey um, bundle. And that is now available for ordering. And you can book for that here on my website. Um, we're going to be doing some lovely monkey cards. Um and then I think the one after that I will be using the Daisy Suite. So just a little heads up with those. I do have my parcel in the post available and open for bookings. It's open for a couple more days. So if you want to um, get a selection of the gorgeous countryside in papers and embellishments and things, then do look at that again on my website. Um, I've had quite a few orders for that. Not as many as I'd love of course um but yeah if you would like a little selection for 22 pounds posted then it's a really good way of getting a few bits and bobs um and you could always craft along with the coffee and card next week because it's the same papers just a heads up though they won't be posted out until the end of may uh also bingo night is on wednesday the 14th of june if you're in the uk and booking closes for that on the 30th of May. So that's two weeks today. So booking closes for bingo two weeks today. Um, and yep, yeah, I'm doing the monkey cards as an in-person class on the 9th of July as well. So lots of information there for you. Um, let me see your, oops, I've lost the comments. Where have they gone? Am I still on? Oh, they're back. That was a bit strange. You prefer mine to the catalogue version? Oh, thank you, Wendy. You're so kind. You're too kind. So thanks for tuning in this morning. Um, oh, I was going to use some ribbon on my card and I didn't. Um, let me switch over. Thank you for tuning in this morning. Um, hope you can hear me now. Um, yes, I love the monkey bundle, Kate. I can't wait to do cards with that. Um, if you're a demonstrator as well, I'm um, also running a demonstrator day um, on, oh, I've forgotten the date now. I think it's Saturday the 17th of June. 
It's either the 10th or the 17th. I can't remember. I think it's the 10th. Oh, I don't know. It's either of those days, but again, it's on my website available for booking. Um, you can book onto that All Demonstrators Welcome. You don't have to be in, in our team to join. Um, it's a great day. We're making cards, business talks, and just a little bit of motivation from the comfort of your own home. Um, I think that's all from me. I've managed to drag this out for nearly 40 minutes. So thank you for tuning in this morning. And um, if you have any questions about any of the products, then just drop me a message or an email and I will be happy to help. Other than that, I will see you next Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Bye.